stay and fight. I've been so back and forth because originally I was going to stay. Originally, the plan was for Tarek and I to die fighting for the people we care about to protect. Uh, to protect Ledford, even though we. Oh, Tarek's the one who told me that we can't beat the Empire. It's not possible. Everything seems to suggest that. Yeah. But he seems to have said himself, and well, he of all people would know. But, uh. After he died, I decided I didn't want to fight for this place. I wanted to see the world. I don't want to die here. You're so young. I don't intend to. Yeah. I don't intend to die. It's the same place I grew up. Not in this shithole, at least. But, uh... Now... I know Arn is... Of course, Arn's gonna stay and fight. Of course he is. He built most of these houses. Yeah. Tang? Yes? Get down here, we need to talk to you. Oh boy. Is everything uh, alright? also potentially come up there. I don't want you two to get yelled at here. Alright, uh, well, <coughs> Okay. We can come down, it's fine. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. RP climbs down ladder because fuck this thing. Uh, yeah. Jack, would you mind watching the, uh, <sighs> up there until I'm done speaking to them? Kid, nice superhero landing. Oh, that's the problem. I need to speak to all of you about something. Uh, I just spoke with Fulgrith about stratagem for the coming Imperial siege. But another very interesting thing came up. After he excused everyone else from the meeting, he had me stay behind. And of course, this does not get disseminated beyond those that we trust. But... Apparently, he knew about our outing the other day. To the forest? And... Yes. He also seemed quite interested to know that underneath the bandits encampment is a... Yeah. Something. Something that needs to be investigated. He was not very direct. Maybe it's that, maybe it's something else. He said he will give me a missive with more information later. But he wants me to get together a group that I can trust to investigate it. He heavily implied that it would be attached to what we did at the forest. Hmm. I need to know if any of you would volunteer for that mission. You have you got already? Are you all equipped? To go uh, see bandits? No. To potentially delve into an ancient cavern that we do not know what lies within. Who have you got already, Mirandel? You know, the last one I heard there was apparently a troll and uh, big ogres and orcs and stuff. That was in the Bedaria forest where they roam. There's not ogres or orcs or whatever waiting for us where we are going. Hmm. You are already protecting me, so. Mirandel. I. That's that. I am. We're going outside the walls now. Who else going have to pay a little extra. Didn't, didn't the bandits say that they heard something in the keeps there, or was that my imagination? Yes, yeah, something up? digging out. Uh, in any case, yeah. the people going right now is myself, Ian Dell. I haven't had a chance to really get anyone else on board. Tang is following me around, very suspicious of me and my motives. <laughs> With, <laughs> of course, uh, all due reason. I mean, I wouldn't if you mind, need me but to go, I've not I'll got go the too. best army to really go out. I've been trying to get myself something. Mine's still he busted, and the steel isn't even fucking here. To the... He said he will equip us to the best of his ability. Perhaps we can requisition armor from him. From him. When would we go? Uh, that would be sufficient. I'm already good in the weapons, so... Yeah. But I need a, uh, group that I know is ready to go to drop of a hat. I don't know if it will be tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. 
but it will likely be soon. Well, see about requisitioning armor, and I'll definitely say yes and come along. Very well, we'll buy her. <sighs> I have to wait. I don't I'm not sure. Uh, uh, Jack has also what are you doing? said he would come. <laughs> really clutching his straws here, Mirren. Ah, uh, just glad I pulled yeah. your leg a little. I'm sorry. <sighs> Is there any way we could supplement our group with any of the reinforcements that we came up, even just as a small five or six of them? Yeah, something. Anything. Potentially, I will ask. Can't take a large yeah, group. Is, is on his way. I don't know how many you guys took. Oh, Randall, I saw something. You. Gather up. What? What? A whole lot of nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> Battle stations! Scare me. Don't jump like that. Four millennia, was it? Alright, all you know what? Go for I'm the line. Can I... could you, Ten, could you take that ladder line, and just move it over to there? Just to finish the thing. Move that ladder off. Um, the let cabin. me think about it. Yeah, uh, perhaps. Yeah, you should do that, lad. See, you assume I'm not the Break Ledgeford's are ultra quiet. Pay for your sin. And there's no one else, Mirandol, that you have so far? Let's all form a line up front. I still need to talk to Kate, Sanabeth, and some of the others. Uh, I can talk to the... I'll let them know that you want to talk to them. Sure. Come on. Make a rank. Make a rank. Come on. 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 Come I don't know if I really have a choice here. Holy shit! That's fair. Oh, How the fuck did you get in the back end of town? I just got back. It's been a while. Not that long ago. It has. Have a fun walk back home? You can say that. Yeah. Hmm. Met our friends in the night yet? We walk? You're pleasant people. I still yeah. bashing your skull with a giant hammer. <laughs> See you back. I don't see her alive, but I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, you two, come in. In there, now. Get. Make a room. Stand attention. It's gotta be okay. Okay. They're ready for your guard food. They look like an excellent corporal. We're still waiting on a couple more. Hurry up. It's not just a militia. Oi! Shut it! This is not the time for talking. Come closer so you may hear my words. Hear my words, people of Ledford. It is not a pleasant thing to have to address one's people. When it comes to such dire news as this. I'm sure the rumors have already spread. I'm sure that fear has already begun to grip at your hearts. Let us get one thing out of the way so we were all on the same page. The Fiozian Empire is invading Ireland. This is no longer a secret. 
They wish to seize lands from Maryland, kill its people, burn its non-humans. They wish to murder and enslave their way across the entirety of his era. Starting here with Maryland. Thankfully, a small group of you decided to ride into the lion's den and acquired information that otherwise changed the course of events. We were said to be blindsided, surprised. As even as I speak to you here now, the Empire marches here towards our very border. What they do not know is 26,000 stout Aralandi men wait for them in ambush. However, this is not enough. Every single town, every single village across Aralind is conscripting their militias and bolstering their numbers. Make no mistake, if Aralind is to fall, then wherever anyone has fled, the Empire will turn its eyes to next. Aralind made a grave mistake years ago, not supporting its ally. Or its neighbors, I should say. And when the great kingdoms to our east fell and the Empire absorbed them, we found a beast drooling at our very shore. They must be stopped here and now. The common man, elf, or dwarf, be it with sword, spear, or bow, can change the tide. To the people of Ledford, I ask you if you have not already to join the militia and assist us in turning back this rabid tide. For if those who are already brave enough to join the militia should fall, those of you who have not, those of you who remain here at Ledford, the Empire will come here for you next. I do not say this to scare you. Do not say it to try and trick you into conscription. I am being honest. I've seen it firsthand. While there are those that wish to run and hide and cower and act as prey, that is your right. But when the warrior few amongst you falls, because there were not enough of them, it does not matter where your den is. It does not matter which corner you crawled into to hide. The Empire will burn you out. Ask the elves and dwarves of the east. Ask the three human kingdoms to the east. They all unified when it was too late. Ireland has a blessing that most others do not. Yes, she is in decline. She has seen better days, but her people are some of the most diverse. Other than the far shores of Gravia. You have an advantage. A short sight that the Empire could never account for. They hate all things that are not human, and thusly they do not account for the tenacity of dwarves, the speed of elves, the sight of drow. They do not account for these things because they believe it beneath them. And that is where their weakness lies. Now, rather than stand here at you and spew propaganda, I will ask you bluntly. 
Are there those here who would join the militia and bolster her numbers before they are sent into the fray? Are there those here that would pick up a spear and stand next to the others who have already done so and stand at the wall here at Ledford? Or will you run back to the shadows and die alone? If you wish to join the militia, stand forward at the bottom of this podium. If you would bolster these numbers and keep the beasts at bay, step forward. Fear is a normal feeling. Any man feels it. Any woman feels it. Any beast feels it. Fear is what makes you strong. Fear is what makes you powerful. And acting while you fear this fear in your belly is what makes you immortal. Those who live and hide to try and survive another day will never be remembered. Will never change anything. Will never rise to the surface or claim power or claim glory or claim the private quiet life they may crave but instead be trampled under others footsteps if a fallen scribe who can fight and die for human lands can join the militia survive as long as i have you can too Mm. Now, before I finalize those of you brave souls who have stepped forward, I will tell you something else that should make you take heart. This information that was given to us by your brethren has allowed us to see where the Empire is moving and where they will be tomorrow. We know where they will be in the morning. They think that they are smart, that they are undetected. Then they will be crossing through the rocky crags and trees of the Arlandi border with their heavy cavalry, looking to crush us beneath their hooves once they reach the plains around our castles. But what they do not know is that their grand cataphracts and knights and golden plate will find spears sunk into their legs and bodies by the common folk of Ledford hiding behind every tree and rock between here and our castles, between your homes. The very last one of these self-serving righteous men that think they are so powerful upon their bladed steeds that will be brought low by peasants with spears! They'll never see it coming. They will never see it coming. Now, if you still have the heart that it took to step forward, tomorrow morning, the militia is going to be conscripted. You will march with our regular forces. We will head to the Ledford border. And we will lie in ambush for these cataphracts and knights. The militia will act as scouts. You will find and secure locations for us to lay in wait. Roll a d20. And we will ruin the entirety of their cavalry before they can come and repeat history with mm. the other kingdoms in Arlandi land. So if you're willing to do this deed... If you are willing to slay Empire men that wish to see you burned at the stake, raise your weapons, raise them in the sky, and let me hear your voice. Let me hear Kazuk, your voice. Cry. For Lanford. For Lanford. For Lanford. For Ireland. For Lanford. For all of Azura. Every last one of you here, stronger than the common individual. Those of you who could pack and leave in the night, choose to stay and bear arms. Whatever your reasoning is, I do not care. Whether it was revenge, 
Whether it is to prove that they are nothing to you, or whether it is to protect your homes. I will be marching with you myself. I will not be with my retinue. I will not be with the Royal Guard. I will be with Ledford's militia. I will not ask anything of you I would not ask of myself. And hear my words. Tonight, prepare yourselves. Eat good food. Drink, but not too much. Sharpen your weapons. Sir Allen, every last individual here is to be issued a spear of iron. Every single one of them are to be issued 15 bolts for their crossbows that they will be given. And they are to be ready to move out in the early morning. Am I clear, militiamen? Aye. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Aye, 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 sir. Then let it be so. See to it that you are equipped by Sir Rallet, Corporal Stonehammer. Familiarize yourself with everyone new that is under your command. And be ready to move out by morning. That is all, Ledford. You are dismissed. Corporal, Ugh. get your men back to their station. Four spears here on the wall. You heard them, man. Yes, Let's right. move! Ah, oh, you heard him. If he doesn't have a spear, there's a spear here on the wall. What? Be prepared. This is mine. Militia make up the center. It will be done, sir. Yes. That means you're kind of. Hold on. Oh, come. He's right here. He's li 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 literally right here. <laughs> What's up? Your eyes are closed. Yes, this, but uh, since we'll be going what into the actual combat and whatnot, would it be okay to actually get a mace down? Are they still closed? It's perfectly fine if you say no. Bodies. My eyes. They're open now. Yeah. They're not. They've been open. What, do you need me or something? What's going on? Okay. Yes, apparently so. Good to have you, Lord. We'll talk later. Stop. I'll find you. I... I'm still recovering and... I don't think I'll be going. I don't know if you're going or not, but... I'm heading to the barracks. We can talk. Yeah. We can talk. Sorry. Go ahead. Hmm. They have another one, then yeah, I'll let you know. if I can have a chat with you later. He wants me to gather a group of trusted individuals, roughly the same number mm -hmm. that we went with to the forest. We are to, to okay. investigate something local. Yes. He hinted that it is tied to what we were seeking in the Bidari forest. He said he will give me a missive. Doing? I do not know. Well, is this instead tomorrow, of the next day? What's happening tomorrow? I don't know. Whenever he gives me a missive, I need to know if when when it happens, if you'll be able to go with me. Sure. Hello, uh, Sir Atterton. I require your service. Of course, I'll be up to the scribery shortly. May I have access to it? Uh, I will meet you in the courtyard. Understood. Hmm. Um, well, hmm. when you get more information, then yeah. You know how I feel about it. And you too. Do you have a fucking choice? <laughs> I 
us from mm. going down into another fucking haunted <sighs> crypt to go get. Well, let us know when you receive this missive. Angry Ghost mm. Bob to yell at us or some shit. Very good. Ghost Bob. We're in. Thank you. Uh, have you spoken to Ian Dell yet? In regards to what? Mm. We've spoken about quite yes. a bit. Yes, she is going. Good. Do not tell Kat or Tarek, or I will kill them both. Not kidding, they're not going. Why? Because of their injuries! Tarek can barely fuck off keep his sword in his hand. Are you gonna tell her or am I gonna tell her? Not even gonna bother no, to tell you to by go. tomorrow, though, at least. What? Well, Kat already knows. We don't even know fun. what exactly the details of this fun, expedition are going to be. What exactly it is, or what is required. What am I not being told? I'm gonna get pissed about yeah, it later. I was trying to say, Cat already knows, because he already gathered everyone yeah. he thought might be interested. Listen, as about before jumping to any of these conclusions, we wait until you have a proper missive. We exactly. know what All I'm asking is that you... is that you... I'm asking for confirmation whether or not you will once I get the missive. Well, We're going. You can decide then. I'm That's going, fine. and if I'm going, he's going. The I end. needed to let everyone know so that I can prepare. Let's bring the one-armed fucking warforged as well while we're at it. Bring all the fucking useless people. He is far from useless, even with that one arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> Dude, not walk him. What? You didn't watch him. What is that? A poker? You think yeah, you're scared because you're made of metal? Oh, yes, Mirandel. No. Keep me up to date when you have missives, etc, etc. But you can sign me on. Right. I'm coming along to make sure that this idiot doesn't do anything to kill you. Uh, uh, don't worry, Nick. Going to the border would have I'm just gonna take up the whole helped thing. my cause. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I haven't gotten a sleep in several days. I've been hunting <clears throat> for several days without sleep, and I don't know if I could go. But I will. I will see. I'm not entirely sure yet if I will be going. We'll see. <laughs> well, if she does, you have our word. We'll watch after her. Hey, I bet you I promise. Hmm. <sighs> what was that about? We'll talk about. We can go talk somewhere. This point, I don't think my doll will. Right. I don't think uh... the doll will need that, but. There's nothing left. Either fight them now or keep going. Cat. Yes, sir. I want to speak to you. Um, but I need to go to speak with Lord Allerton. Are you going to be around the bar later? Yes, I'll be around uh, plenty tonight. Find me. Very good. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I'll get the torch if you want. Your room this time? That's only fair. Sure. <laughs> That's only fair. Hello to you, Mum. <clears throat> hmm? Not quite a sound dream, but. but so much going on in usually the speaking in the tavern is loud enough. Yeah. Hmm. And sit if you want. What are you thinking? I'm not entirely sure what to do. 
I know decedents to avoid. I don't blame you. <laughs> you decided we weren't gonna. Not joining the militia, fight. but I will fight. I see. I noticed Cerebeth was the first to step forward. It surprised me. I don't suppose you know what that's about. He was hit with the hard reality. A hard reality. And what's that exactly? Doesn't matter where she hides, Empire will smoke her up. Some words hit really true for her, I assume. Understandable. And you can't run from them, it seems. There's a good idea. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so. I don't know. I don't think she's had a full change of heart. That doesn't seem like her kind of thing, but. Hey, if she's fighting, don't knock her. Yeah. Can't knock her. She's good with a crossbow, that's for sure. <sighs> Ridiculously good. Yeah. Watch her take the eye off her fucking. <laughs> Let me just untangle this. Um. Yeah, I wish to take the head off a goblin that was on the roof shooting at us, like, immediately. It was, uh... God. It was something. <clears throat> um... You said you weren't sure if you're going? I haven't decided yet. Uh... I know Arn's probably still recovering. Uh... I also know that I haven't had sleep in days. Yeah, I wonder what that feels like. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Uh, fuck. Let's try to hold on. <laughs> um, but I. Uh, Yeah, basically, I know I'm part of the militia, so I might be inscripted already, and that it might not make a difference if I don't want to go or not. Uh, I also don't... Oh, fuck, I just realized I actually muted myself. I also, uh, I don't know, I'm part of the militia, so I don't know if I, I will be inscripted or not. I also don't know if we'll be leaving tonight or tomorrow morning. Yeah. If I'm able to get rest, then I would likely go. Seems like everyone's going. And it... I can't be the one person who is standing by watching. I've never done that. Never plan on continuing that. Don't like to watch by and let people get hurt. You could, though. Not if I can do something. What do you mean? You don't have to go. Well, I don't know, I might have to. It depends. Not if you're injured enough. I'm not injured. I know. I didn't get injured. <laughs> what you say, a fake an injury? <laughs> I couldn't do that. I couldn't. I... I need to be... Alive. <laughs> uh, but... Arn saved, Arn saved my life over Haskell's. I can't... I can't just waste it. And I know being dead is a waste as well. But... I also can't cower. I don't know. It all depends on what's happening exactly. Plus the the caves. When is that going to be happening? I don't know. They're waiting for a missive, but um. Hmm. I don't know, I'd prefer it if you stayed away from that one, too. What, do you want me to just cower and hide for all of it? While the don't Empire live. attacks, just... We send all of our militia 
on this mission, no one's going to be able to defend the people here. That's true. Yeah, you're still planning on going, aren't you? Mm-hmm. My life doesn't equal yours. Now who's yeah. the hypocrite? Oh no, that's bullshit. Also, Sarah said she'd kill you and Tarek if I told you to come. <laughs> Why? I don't know. That's something about your injuries. <laughs> Tarek, maybe. His arm's broken. All needs to heal. Kate and I are fine. being selfish. Hey, you're not. They're saying the same thing I did. It's up to you. You know where I stand on. I know. I also know you're very stubborn. I don't want... Yeah. That is true. One of my charming qualities. I wouldn't be okay staying here, knowing that you were putting yourself in the line of fire. Thought you didn't step forward because you weren't going to go. But if you're going. That made it a little bit more difficult for me. It's not your fault, obviously. I just... <laughs> well, I can't see you get hurt. I mean, you've seen that plenty of times. You'd think you'd get used to it by now. You'd think I would. <laughs> <laughs> but... It hurts. Why? I can't even... <sighs> don't like to see you hurt. I don't... want to see you hurt. I can't... I don't know how to explain it. I... <laughs> don't want you to die. I can't let you die. Right. Everyone dies, Kat. Can't say I'm not surprised. Uh, can't say I'm... Yes. I can't say I'm not surprised. <laughs> that is your motto, isn't it? Don't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> True. I can't, but... Everyone lives too. At least for a short bit. Unless you're a dryer or an elf. Or a dwarf. <laughs> and then you live for a fucking That's long time. That's why I said time. at least. <laughs> True. Part of me envies you and part of me very much doesn't. Envies me? In a way, yes. You have the chance to learn. Living through experiences helps you learn. Yes, there's heartbreak and tragedy and awful things, but you learn through them all. You become wiser. Plus, well, you live long enough, you can travel through the ocean. I want to see the ocean. You have seen the ocean? I've only ever lived here. I may be stopping by Gradio again one day. So, <laughs> if we survive this, I might take you. If you wanted. That'd be nice. <laughs> I love that.
Is it true those pirates? Hmm. Tons of them. <laughs> wow. Be amazing. Then all the stories are cracked up to be a lot of them are just very smelly. Very <laughs> Fair enough. Gross, missing teeth. This idea of giant. I don't know. Um, giant boats. They're not like fishing boats, but with sails. Many sails. Lots of rope, too. Actually, you do really well on a boat, thinking about it. <laughs> know how you are, Drake. Right? Yeah. I want to see it someday. If we survive this, that is. <laughs> Let's survive then. Let's survive. Knock, knock, knock. Hmm, come in. Mirren. Hello. How'd the Have meeting go? The service? No, not in a while. Uh, she's all in a tizzy because um, she doesn't want you going on this mission. I just need to know if you're too injured. Me? Yes. No, I'm not injured at all. Kate and I are fine. We were the oh, ones who got oh. out uninjured and Arn was the one who got out. Her <sighs> has a broken arm. Sword arm. Serveth is insistent that... You'd be excluded from this mission, insisted you were injured, insisted you would be a liability. And then ran off and said she would go and take care of it by herself, since I was keen to talk to you first, since she's not exactly trustworthy. Did, uh... <sighs> is she saying the same about Cade? No. I understand, then. <sighs> what, what mission exactly, the... The... F Oh, the, the, the one with the yes. Oh, the one with the yes. Yeah, someone's got to talk to her. So uh, sad. She cannot work with anyone. Things when, do not go her way. She practically when is Fal her mind. Fal uh, or wait. The one with Falgrith, the, 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 the cave one. Yes. Why is she so insistent that you do not go? I'm, I'm confused. Okay, so what's the timeline of all this, if I may? I know, I know. the Whenever militia is the going out. I'll close the door then. All right. I know the militia is going out. Uh, I don't know if you know if it's tonight or tomorrow. Uh, militia is going out. I don't know when this other thing is happening. I'm waiting for a missive. I don't know if it happens at the same night. Okay. Probably not. Maybe All right. Tomorrow. So. It's likely that the militia thing is first, correct? Right. That's the thing I'm not sure if I'm going to go on, because, frankly, I haven't slept in days. Fair enough. I may this underground not be able to go mission, to however, I... Hmm. I, uh... It sounds like you have quite the ragtag group. I'm not saying I'm not ragtag, but... Have you got more rope? To replace the one that you lost in the mines and... In the forest? I can talk to, uh... I can talk to the merchant. Very well. It might be of use in a cave. I do hear that... Or rather... I'll just... Yeah, and the open with it, Seraveth is blaming you for Arn's condition. How true is this? <sighs> He's not wrong. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Depends on how you look at it. She got captured, Arn went back to her. Arn then got he injured went back because for of Haskell. He went back for Haskell, but saved Cat instead. So really, uh, he was going back fault. anyway. It's Haskell's fault. <sighs> I mean, fuck. One would argue that it's Arn's fault for going back. And then you could trace it back to... Fucking... Uh, Me, because I sent you on, on this mission, mission in the first and place. And then your mother, because she gave birth to you. I mean, fuck. How, how far back do we go? 
this mission in the You see what I mean, oh, though. It's definitely Mirren's mother. Her fucking mother, Mirandel. I know what you mean. <laughs> um... I suppose, yeah. It, it's complicated. I understand if he's angry at me. She's had she it also while, says though. that you are the one that brought back um, Carrick. Is this true? Uh, technically, I was the one who was carrying him. Why were you carrying uh, him there? Haskell found him. Mm -hmm. And then on grabbed him and uh, told uh, Haskell to find him a sword and told me to grab Tarek since he needed his sword arm on needed his sword arm and uh, told me to grab Tarek as we I were see. running out of the... I, I I didn't I mean I didn't know it I hmm. my mind was blank Sarah probably believes you there saw no him, and I was like, oh my god, we need to save him, please, let's put everyone in jeopardy. When I doubt that was the case, was it? No. Hmm. Um, I, I, I got separated with, from it's the group, and I... a lot of hypocrisy, if you ask me. Coming from Sarah, with... I was trying to find any oh, reason. She is afraid that Tarek will find out it was her that did sell him out anyway. I'm sure. Even if not that. I'm just afraid of what she will do if she thinks control is slipping from her. She's gone up with the facade for long enough that she's been in control of the situation, but she never really has. That is a scary thought. Doesn't seem like he can do anything right by her. No. No, it does not. There's someone we want um, on a mission. What? She is a crack shot with a crossbow, and she can see yeah. in the dark. It is true. I know you can as well. That's a bit redundant, but... Mm. See what call Mirren. We'll see. Hmm. To be honest, if we are able to somehow harness this magic, that's the last hands that I want them to fall into are Selvith's. Right. Yeah. That would be terrifying. In any case, we need Cade. The extra muscle is good. Yes. And if Cade goes, she will... Likely follow. Yes. Surprised you didn't follow him when he ran to bring the missive. She almost did. Convinced not to. Fair enough. Smart. <laughs> I'm glad Kate convinced her not to. God. Mm. I'll try and find her again and see if I can talk sense into her. But just Have watch you out figured out who around. else is going on the mission, whenever it is, lot, obviously. A lot of people have given yeses as long as they know more details once the missive comes around. And Problem is right, of course. that much I can at least give you. This mission is coming after the militia thing tomorrow. Yeah. Which means some of the people that are telling you yes now might not be in condition to go later after tomorrow. Exactly. That's why I'm thinking do I stay so at least you know you have me You motherfucker. Mirin! This bastard, I swear to god. I was... God Look damn it. Him. Look at this dude. <laughs> Ew. Look at this dude. <laughs> Stoic. <sighs> Just staring at me. Well. I know, it's kind of creepy. Huh. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <gasps> just uh oh fuck ah <laughs> oh shit all right just put that on the bed 
Very nice. What do you... What do you think? About everything. What's your thoughts? All of it. All of it? Yes. After everything that happened in Grady, I... promised myself I wouldn't get close to people again. I wouldn't, you know, care about people or... Sounds like you. Yeah, I was trying really fucking hard. I know. <laughs> but, um... Selfish part of me wants the people I care about to live. By any means. Mm. I mean, no one wants to see the I people understand. that they're close to die. <laughs> or injured. They don't. Yeah, honestly, worse having your loved ones die than dying yourself. Yeah. So, you uh... Can't die either, so... <laughs> why? We both have to live. Because people care about you. I care about you. I don't see you. <laughs> he posing through the door like a fucking madman. Fuck, I'm sorry. He's just bursting through in T-pose. Like... <laughs> Alright, alright. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Hold on. Alright. Uh... Pretend that conversation happened. I don't know. Yes, um, I don't see my sword anymore. Could you pick it up for me? It's on the bed, yeah. Uh, right. Oh, right. Uh, da, 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 ah, thank you. I see it. Yeah, no problem. So, as I was saying, um, before you had that weird seizure, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm worried that going on this uh, militia expedition thingy is, uh, it might loosen our numbers for this mission. So I've been thinking maybe I don't go, so that you at least know you have me. Right. Well, that would be good. Technically, I'm not part of the militia still. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if there are I mean, people I'd like going to think that, that I, I could rely on our other drow compatriot, but from everything that she has ever said to me, I am not sure that that will be mm. likely. Well, she's going tomorrow. I, from what I gathered, I mean, she signed up for the militia, so her and Kate are going to the She's thing. She's the first to step forward, yeah. Surprising, actually. I think she finally realized that yeah, there's surprised. no hiding from this or running. We have to fight it together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'm sure she will be of great use. Mm -hmm. the militia and, uh, you can't deny the shots that she's taking with her crossbow. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, yes. for sure. Against cavalry as In well. In case, I should go find her and... Try to reason with her. Okay, Mirren, do you want me to go on this thing tomorrow with the militia, or do you want me to stay here to safeguard the fact that you'll at least have me up? <sighs> I have reasons to be here, other than what you're saying, well, other than what I was saying, you know, but... Arn's here, I wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to protect him, and if all the militia's gone, they're gonna need someone here to protect the common folk, if anything happens. I'm also not part True. of the militia, and, well, my ability to see in the dark would be helpful in this expedition. Imperative, maybe, it would. Even. Definitely. And if Serbeth's going, we will at least still have a drow going to the, uh... Militia, thank mm -hmm. you. Going on the militia excursion. That's good. Hmm. But if Sarah gets injured... Then you would at least still have me. Yeah. I hate that it sounds like we're playing some kind of game. Like it's some sort of chess strategy. Well, it is. It's strategy. Feels like it. You're lowering the risk of me getting injured, therefore heightening the chance of the expedition going, right? Right. That's how Fulworth would see it, no? 
But then again, we don't know when this expedition could be. People might have time to recover. Exactly, yeah. Right. Well... Assuming they're injured. Let's see. Okay. And now yeah. I'll stay. How about that? All right. Sure. All right. Let me see if I can find her. If I can, I'd like to have both of you. That's the idea. On the, uh... On the cave mission, right? Right. Of course, yeah. And when I say both of you, I mean Kat and Sarah, as well as you, Kylo. Oh, okay. Well, fuck, I'll just fucking see here then, I guess. <laughs> fuck me, then. Bring in the brown, the fucking human. <laughs> each other's throats. You want both of them that are at each other's throats, but not Kyla. Loyal Kyla, who's staying behind. I think he said, he said, if I can. I think it was implied you're going. If I can, he said, if I can, I'd like to have both of the, the, the Sarah and Kat, yeah. I thought you meant me and Sarah. And I was like, yeah, that's the that's the that's a, that's a good idea. That's no. that heightens our odds. <laughs> no, fuck me then. No, it, it's implied that you're going because right, you go. you already invited. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess. Hello, Sarah. Thank you, Aaron. We did. I, I feared that it. you would. I feared that you would try shut and do something end. drastic. <laughs> Slams the door shut. You are fucking useless in the dark. You're not going. You're a liability, and all you have proven yourself to do is either get people near death, or saving your ass. You're not going. That's fucking final. And if you do go, you better watch your back down in those dark caves, because I will kill you. Do you understand? Does that make sense, barmaid? It's a passing through your fucking noggin. Sarah No, I'm done. She's not the reason that Arn ignored. got hurt. I don't care. She is the reason he got injured because he went back for her. He went back for her skull. One of his only loyal men he has left. Couldn't find him. He went back Found Captain Stead. Doesn't matter. She turned herself into fucking fish food. Her usual. And I'm not letting any of you fucking die because of her. She has no ties to this. She has no magical reasoning to be down there. None. Choose your fucking battles, Blondie. We need numbers. We don't know what's down there. We don't need her. We can bring someone else. Like who? I'm already asking everyone that I can think of. No one, preferably. I prefer it to just be me, you, and the Dryad. So if we do fucking die, no one suffers from it. Sir, so there's been reports of scratching coming to... from those We're not playing cabins. nice with friends. This is not a fun vacation. No, She's not getting kicked out of it. No, we are playing at warfare. We are playing at strategy and we need numbers. Die. I have been she has no idea what we're going up against. Many of us could die. None of us know what we're going up against. Well, at least the ones who are dying are the ones that are knowledgeable on what the fuck we're going in there for. Have a feeling for it. Literally. So, if it puts use your logic then. If we have numbers. Didn't hear anything other than murmurs. And something does happen to her in the cabin. What she puts forth in a dark cave? Hmm? Tell me what she puts forth that could possibly change our minds. Don't you remember down. the mushroom people? Don't you remember how many of them there were? Yes. We need numbers. There's scratching coming from Gilemore. inside. How I killed half of that fucking group of whatever they were by myself in the dark because I was alone and I didn't have any liabilities tied to me that can't fucking see, fight, or know what they're going up against. That's literally the rest of the party that wasn't. And again, I will reiterate, we should not bring them. You know as well as I do that we, we did not bring them last time, we would have all been in pots at this very moment. Tell me the, the pros to bring in Katrina, please. Tell me the pros. Numbers. Besides an able body. She was there the last mission, she didn't fall behind then either. Cause she sat sure, she can't like see in the dark. Bitch. 
I watched I've been her. training. Yeah, I'm sure you've been training. Have you been training against the dark fucking creatures that lurk in the caves at night that you can't even barely see during the day? Her glasses knocked off. She's fucking useless. Keep your day job. If I may. Honestly, are you just gonna fuck up every mission you go on? I'm not letting you fucking ruin this. I'm not letting you get anyone that's important to me killed. Because if you had come back and Cade had been lost, I would have slain all of them. Slain all of them. Every last one. I would have started all over. So you choose whether you want to bring your friends along on your happy little vacation, or if you actually want to get shit done. Too many people went last time to Bedaria. It was all over the fucking place, and it was fucked. And I know why it was fucked, because you touched that fucking tablet, and you didn't let the Dryad do it. The place had the Dryad written all over it. The only reason you're fucking going to this is because you're... You have to! Right? You gotta figure out what it is. You just have to see, no matter what the fucking risk is. I've been fucking watching you too, Mirandor. Don't you think you've lost enough by now? Why would you want to lose anything more? Are you done? Am I done? You're an absolute fool. You think I'm just dribbling on? You know I seek logic. And you know I seek rationality. You just don't want to admit I'm right. You never want to fucking admit that I am right. I'm always right. You spit I've been venom, right and it makes it hard to I've see done. the rationale behind your... It's not venom, it's brutal honesty, words. because no one seems to fucking listen! Don't go, don't go, don't go, and what do they fucking do? They go and go and they die. And they hurt yes. people. People die. I sent a good friend of mine, a lifelong friend, to his death. He died so that we could bring back. You want to send a fucking another one? That's what I'm doing right now with all of us. Aren't I? Is that not true? Everyone else who's going, who's a friend of mine, is at the same risk. No place down there. Everyone else. Why do you really not want her there? I just fucking told you. She's a liability. She's going to get someone fucking killed. Everyone down there that she cannot see is a liability. Did it. Because they, they're blinded by her, they're her friend! What the fuck is that supposed to mean? It's bias. You're all fucking Kate biased. Kate is a friend of mine. Kate is a friend of yours. Kate also agreed that she shouldn't fucking go. So did Tang. Hmm. They actually all want to talk to her and talk her out of it. But I know she's not going to change her fucking mind, she's too stubborn. She's gotta prove herself, always. Fucking useless feelings and emotions. I've said my fucking piece. If she is on that mission, I am not protecting her. And she is dead. If she gets anyone killed, you're all fucking dead. You wanted to add anything, Cade? Certainly has a way with words, does she not? <clears throat> she certainly in a pain of woman if she's fighting the Empire. Okay. Respect to her, then. No, I can certainly see that. That's been said, it's been said. But it is very much worth considering precisely who we do bring to this. We have heard of Iraq. We need numbers, Cade. It's not about friends, it's not about people who are going to die or not die. You don't know what's down there. Go. I'll take it. She goes in with me. <laughs> I have to We've gotten in, in 
involved in many of these scuffles. And it's hard to tell where to draw the line when it comes to skill versus luck. Eventually that luck is going to run out. And it is very seriously worth considering. But she is right that we can only look after so many people. You don't have to look after me. I can hold my own. That's what I've been working towards. That's what I've been doing all this time. To make yes. myself into something. To make make it so I don't have to rely on others. So I can rely on myself. So I don't have to be a burden. It seems like... The case. You understand that too though, Kate, don't you? Wanting to be stronger? trained every single day. Trained with sword masters, trained with Make different sure people that's... to get different things. I, I know. And then I'm not just a barmaid anymore. Make sure you are well aware of that. And this goes for not just you, but everyone else, myself included. It is likely that Lars's name may need to be cut. When we went on this prior mission, I don't... And it shouldn't have been any surprise that what happened, happened. Death is to be expected. The Badaria for it. We yes. knew that there was a suicide mission. That's why Arn had so many people, mutant. because if there were a smaller party, everyone in the party would have died. I'm aware. He really has that right. I that was the, the intention with the whole reason why we had the whole meeting in the town hall. Numbers, and you're right, numbers are indeed important. But what I'm saying is that if it. you do come, if you do come, and this goes for everyone involved, myself included, it's hard-pressed to expect someone to come back for you if something were to occur. Never expect that. I don't that. expect anyone to come back for me. I never did I... expect anyone to come back for me, and I still don't. I... had to watch Awen get pummeled by two trolls. Yeah. And I could do nothing about it. And as much as I probably could have run in there, risked that slight chance I'd be able to snag onto him unharmed. Slackley would have ended up like him. It's regrettable. And I wish my legs could have moved. What you're saying is... <sighs> what I'm saying is exactly how it sounds. Something terrible occurred and I had to stand there in that moment and weigh the value of my own life. And those around me. And whether charging him is going to get me killed as well. That's why you didn't let me go in after Seravith down in the mines, is it not? You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. It's not a waste, lad. They were cooked on request. <sighs> but I feel that's something that should not have gone unsaid. On the second floor. Do 
have a cooked on request. Mm. I'll excuse myself. Had to add anything? I'm not sure what was said. I just came in when Kate was going on a very sad monologue. He does that. Mm. Do you have something that needs to be said? Concerns? Free to well, share with first off, I'm concerned for Kat's life if he, she were to go on this mission. Didn't realize sure everyone cared about trouble. my life so much. Or just that I'm a burden. It is less that you were a burden. And more that your skills are needed elsewhere. Not to mention you are injured. Why does everyone think I'm injured? Only me, the I am Carry that with me. In case anyone gets hurt. Are you capable of treating wounds? I have medical supplies I brought with me to the border. I just send from the nurse. Uh. I can give you guys the medical supplies before you leave. If we need them. Are you will. I am aware that this mission is not my place in order to say anything. But I believe that your skills would be better had on the front lines with everyone else. My skills. Preparing for the ambush. Making sure the Palisade will stand up to attack. Making sure that everyone stays alive. It's okay to say it, I don't have any skills. <laughs> I've seen what you were able to do. You may not be able to do much in terms of combat. You're able to hold yourself in a pinch. But you are... Utility. If not for your rope, or the way that you have tied the things that were... done. I doubt that we would have been able to make it out of the mines. If we end up getting to another climbing point and we don't have rope and cat skills, you're gonna be fucking. It's gonna be shitty. That is true. Don't want to be a burden. But if cat does go, then I am about 90% certain that Seraphith will kill her. Yes. That was made clear, uh. yeah. Sounds like the decision's been made. I'm a burden. You mean like the I got it. It's in a span of body. Mirren? You're not a burden. Is there anything else? You're reliable. I'd rather have you down there than service based only on the fact that you actually give a damn about what's going on with everyone. And you're not just in it to harness whatever power's down there. But the gist of it is, she can see in the dark. She is tied to this whole mess in some, some way. This has been made. I'll get out of your hair. 
with you. Pony pet. Oh. Oh. I didn't know they could be oh. there. Yeah, good for them. I've always said, <laughs> you, you, you do what you yeah. like to do, and then you know what I'm doing. They chose to be a bear. <laughs> People do not know how to close doors. I really don't. <laughs> I got a tang. Yeah. Well. Come here often. <laughs> Get back in there. Yeah. I will show it. Thank you. I'm currently doing intense yoga to solve my problems. God, you're so flexible. I am, actually. Oh, I know. And that's why you drink it away. I'm a pretzel. Whatever that is, I don't know. Drink the fuel away of what no one to talk. A giant bear. A walking tree, and apparently music suddenly switched to something very happy, and it was very out uh, character. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Fine, I'll wait. Okay, we can just. It's whatever. <laughs> it's fine, I'll wait. <laughs> the <sass. laughs> This is what everyone fucking means. In times when we need you the most, you turn into a fucking ball. God damn it. God damn it. They were right about you. <laughs> I'll turn into a ball and roll for the enemies, like bowling pins. No one can deny a bowling pin. What the fuck? A pile of balls. That is why I'm so hot. Okay. Sonic mode activated. <laughs> okay. Finally, all right. This is getting down. So, sounds like the decision was made, huh? Right. I say it. Had to get away. I'll be honest. Part of me's glad. I'm sure you don't have to worry about me down there. Still worry about you. I didn't want you to go, not because you're a burden. Not. Just. You ended up like. Ewan. It's fine, I'll wait. It's like jumpy. Sorry, my controller's fucked. Anyways. <sighs> she ended up like a when I... I understand. Because yeah. I'm just frustrated, I... They don't see it, but I do. I know you're trying. I understand. Fine, so hard. I know. And you're doing so fucking well. I watch. I see. I'm worried about you. I want you to be okay. And at the very least, fuck, I don't want Sarah to shoot you in the back in the dark just because you went on. Doesn't want you. What a horrible way to go. Right? Right. I need you. Okay. Just don't. Just come back. 
Alright. Promise? Yes. Good. Good. One day they'll see. You won't have to prove it to them. You have nothing to prove now. <laughs> People who know you. Real you. They know. We know. Seems like you're the only person who really does. Do you need anyone else? <laughs> I suppose not. Thank you, Kyla. I haven't done anything. You've done everything. Everything? You got a lot to blame for then. <laughs> All your fault. All of it. So I don't know why everyone's blaming you, because fuck. Everything is me, then. <laughs> fucking <Hey>, Christ! <laughs> Keep hitting my fucking controller, sorry. <laughs> fucking immersion! <laughs> I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. I'll just do this. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. alright. Okay. <laughs> so does that mean you're going on the uh, thing tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, depends on if it's actually tomorrow or not. <laughs> the uh, militia or thing. Tonight. Yeah, I think it is tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's tricky. Someone at your door. Ken. In a very popular room today. Um. Right. I'll let you know if I do go, of course. Right. I'll let you two talk. You should learn how to make the ale like that guy. When you don't water it down, it's really good. He's the one who makes the ale. You make the ale. They make the ale. You both make the ale. You make good ale. Oh. You said it was watered down. It is watered down, but he waters it down oh. here. Oh. Our customer oh. requests not if we know that they can't handle more. Uh, so he trusts me with it. That's really nice. That's really nice. <sighs> this world never also, ceases uh, to amaze and inspire. I suppose it's not the best time, but uh, I suppose you should know uh, not going to be able to get splotch as much of anything. Baylor, uh, the way he is, isn't able to repair the traps and they all broke. I haven't seen splotches at all. I don't know where it is, so... The night with two people who I would like to consider friends. Um, anywhere else. But, but thank you. you. We can, if you want, while you're going, we'll keep an eye out. I like that. One. I don't see he knows he can come into the If we find him, we'll... If we find him, we'll bring him here. Thank you, Nicholas. That's very kind of you. I was talking about right here. 
I would rather um, yeah. But then I said, hold on, hold on. I, I got what if you had Do you mind if I get myself a new? And I, and I asked that person to join. Uh, excuse Leave it on. Oh, leave hey, it on counter. Why don't you solve a riddle for me? Usually, it's usually it's usually seven or cupcakes, but okay. Cupcakes. Wait, no. Sorry, muffin, muffins. Sorry, we called them when back in my house. We called them cupcakes because they're little they're little cakes that you bake in cups. They're muffins. I'm sorry. I want to know what riddle he's thinking. Thank you, Nicholas. Yeah, it's probably not. It's probably not muffins. Muffin button. What is? All right. Imagine how many she sells does she sell I'll bring the mug back. at the seashore? I I told you that the answer is usually seven or muffins. It's Look, seven. So when you think about it, her selling seashells on the mm. seashore is actually a horrible business adventure. It is. Why would you exactly. there's no demand? Exactly. There's so much supply, it's yeah. like smart. Oh, let me here here, Mr. Farmer, let me let me sell you some of the wheat from your own field. Exactly. It's like trying to sell apples in the middle of an orchard. You're getting that. It's just a bad. It's just like bad business. That's why she <laughs> only sells seven. <laughs> what do you say? What? Uh, Sounds like something he said we would do. A dwarf. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, mm. I, know I, I would absolutely be not surprised if I heard tales of. Dolly trying to sell farmers that own uh, crop. I know. No, why do you need to? Why do you? Why do you need to like sell them their own stuff? You've already got the magic. You make the coins out of people's ears. <clears throat> I'm gonna strategically place you guys here while I go AFK for one second. got swindled some Damn. merchant i don't know who or what or oh, why hey, but he bought a potion that was said to make any woman anyone he wanted fall deeply oh, deeply boy, in love with him one. Uh, oh, so he one. takes it he takes it and he said you rub a little rub a little every night before bed for three days and mm. then you give the bottle to the girl and tell her to rub the last little bit onto it. And that, that is what seals it, is that last little rub. <sighs> mm. Let me guess, he broke out, out with a gigantic rash. No, close, but not. That'd be funny though. We find out later close. that it did make certain females fall madly in love with it. <laughs> Mm. Oh no! What kind of females? If they are of the canine variety. Ha! <laughs> I've heard the same trick so but with deer. I've heard the same trick but with deer. So he was swamped. straight alpha wolf deer. 
So he was swarming with bitches. <laughs> that is exactly what happened. No. You wouldn't hear that room from underneath it. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, no. I need more water. I'm out of, I'm out of water. Also, someone was asking how Kyle is so smart, if he's just a thief. Um, he was raised in the docking districts of Gradio. So we saw a lot of, um, ship captains and crew coming past a lot. With that, a lot of merchants, a lot of merchant vessels, because they trade with, uh... Uh, Azimal... Azimalof? Whatever the fuck it, uh... Well, the, 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 the elven area. They're actually one of the only states that can actually trade with the elves. Um, so there's a lot of merchant talk backwards and forwards, so he knows a little bit about, you know, supply and demand and all that, just from overhearing in taverns and stuff. Kyler is epic. <coughs> nah. Hello, Mr. Kyler. Hello, Bevo. Uh, are you going out with them tomorrow? The militia? Well, the uh, Miri, don't. What do you mean? I thought they were going out on a mission. They said they had someone that could see in the dark, so I thought that was you. Oh, uh, this is uh, that's something else. Don't worry about it. Is the? It's okay. I already know. I already know kind of what it is. He talked to me and Tang about it. I don't know when that is. I don't think that's tomorrow though. All depends when the night comes. Okay. Whether or not we see our friend the night either. Oh, are you going with the militia? No. Okay. Well. Indeed. Mm. So yes, uh, <laughs> Jamie came so late into the season, I actually had to Okay. Fresh an old family brew. As myth, as mish, as Michel, as, as Michelof, as, as. To be honest, I thought you would go with the militia. As Michel, as, as Michelalless. Thought about it. I have uh, you go? other things I need to do. It's important that I stay alive for something. Well, I hope it turns out as well for you. As Michel, as Mythalos, as 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 Mythalos. Yeah, there we go. Also, Kyler, if you see Sarah, I think you might want to uh, my knee to talk her down. From? I think she's up to something stupid again. <laughs> Mirandel and Sarah got into a fight about Cat. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I mean, it had the uh, she stormed off. As she does. It's been sorted, as far as I'm aware. That's good then. I suppose. And then I eat it. I die. You would die. Sergeant? Yeah. You would die. If it's but even if I so do that with you me? Do that with yes. Mr. Cardo? Just saying hi. Then it's okay and makes me... You've been enjoying your day. Why? It's been stressful. Uh, a few well, good moments. Brewing's a lot different than just a... Believe it or not, it's peaceful in that right now. Good. good. When you... Mm. A calm before the storm, right? Well, it's a very complicated process. So, Just the thing about enjoy the time you have. I never enjoy my time. People that have been with you. Yeah, well, find a way to enjoy it. You could join me for a drink. I already had four drinks with Rallo earlier. <laughs> Are you going tomorrow? I'm fucking fucked up. I don't think so. I think me and my men are needed here. No, oh, to be a town guard. Well, maybe I could drink with you if you don't mind. Get yourself a drink. I don't know how long I'll be staying here for, but I'm kind of posted up. 
a year past, which is not bad. So, mm. All right, Sergeant, what are your you thoughts? Want to I guess you don't see that. What are you thinking, Sergeant? My fault, son. What? Everything that's happening. I've had my talks with my men. Ask them their opinions. If they're willing to die for their country. And every soldier has said yes. But they're all... Fearful. Little... Feathers, but they all are longer. willing to do what is needed to be done, but is what you're trying to say. don't exactly want yeah, to. But yeah. I like to well, they know it has to be done. Mm -hmm. And I've had a chat you can also with some use, other people as well. Uh, let's see. I've told them, just honey, hold close to what you have now. Plums. Enjoy while you have it and be thankful for what you have. Because who knows, tomorrow, the day next, you can lose it all. You're not really instilling much confidence in people. I really don't. Where's your pep talk? You gave me an amazing pep talk the other day. Yeah. Tell us we're gonna That's... kick some raw ass. Yeah, tell us that. Exactly that. I would love to, but I'd be lying to you. You don't think we're gonna kick ass? We fought against mushrooms. I'm not asking if we're gonna win, I'm trees. asking if we're gonna kick ass, and I think you know the answer to that question, Sergeant. I guess there's really only Kill two answers. You either you have two that? results, you either kick ass or get your ass kicked. You're so good with words. Either kill yourself or get killed. What's it gonna be? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? That's a simple way of looking at life. What are you gonna do? Well... Live forever. Edge, mm. the edge of the I didn't realize that was an option. That's Shit. An thing. Well, if if I was to be killed, they'd probably take him down with me, <laughs> right? No, I'm not. I suppose. Are you going tomorrow? Uh, I mean, mean yeah. I swear, but I saw the whole process. If you go to kill yourself, but you kill your killer, is that no, still you killing you yourself? The fuck? What? Mm. I'm drunk and I didn't even understand that way. <laughs> Making sense now. <laughs> no, it's not. No, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't look at me, child, please. Turn away. <laughs> I said I'm gonna hit you with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with the, the greasy hair. Oh, really? Is greasy? Put it back on. I just love how he can take his hat off. Is that Rowlett's old sword? This is from Rowlett's like. Uh, it's one of his fifty that he had. Yeah. He has fifty. Fifty. So, a long time ago, like, I'm sure it is, he requisitioned you know it 50 is. swords to be made for the guard. You know it, and we had that running but joke of he did, he did it for the shits and giggles. I don't know what I did wrong. Huh? That was to him, alright? So, so the really running joke rally. is this is one of his 50. Oh, I see. <laughs> but yes, it is his old one. And I just kind of took it because he wasn't using it. Uh, and it looked nice. Shiny. So you stole it. I was, I, I was gonna say, oh, he handed me down. I was like, here you go, Sergeant. This is as a thanks for not staging a coup against me. Uh. Or hating me. <laughs> but no, I just took it from him because he wasn't using it, and I like it. And it's not one of those shitty ones that look like wood. If you ever looked at it real close. Well, I think it looks That's a good point. It's nice. I haven't been able to use it yet. <laughs> so I was sleeping up one of the benches earlier. Yeah. Let, let's hope you don't have to. No, I think I'm gonna have to within the next few days, to be honest. So. I feel like I have to tell you something or say a line. Like, I don't feel like I should do it now. Go on. Like Go on. No, no, it doesn't have a right. No, you have to. Moments. Wait, I'm gonna look over here. <laughs> I'm not looking at you, I'm not paying attention no, to you. It's hey, hello. Talk to you. Come here. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. 
Yeah, that's probably the last time we were able to do that, which is the sad thing. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait till I'm bleeding out. And you're holding my hand in your hands, and you just a single tear rolls down your cheek. You, you drow. Holy drow. <laughs> drow. Good luck. Come here. Come here. You're such a good drow. Hugs. <laughs> God. The only thing I, I want is to be taller in my next life. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Have you tried going to the gym? It's Jim. It's a guy I know in Grady. Hey, you talking about you? It's, it's a guy's name. Someone say Drow Magic? Hey, what's going on? My name's Kyle. This isn't Drow. How you doing? I need you to read my palm. Yeah, you saw me throw that coin. I, read my palm. I saw you throw it, but I don't know where I went. Alright, what's what does it say? Ah, uh, that is very odd. It says you're gay. Does it? <laughs> does it actually? <laughs> you really are a palm reader. Holy shit. <laughs> How did you know that, Jack? Oh my god! Did you open up your third eye? I'm a mage. Oh my god! From the 12th dimension. Wow, champ. <laughs> no! Oh god! She just whipped. Wait, what? What the fuck? Trees can trees can bend like that? Trees can whip. Oh, you should have seen Rowlett fucking thrusting his leg all the way up on the window seal at a 90 degree angle in full plate. Ooh, that's impressive. That's Sir yeah, Rowlett really too. Flexible. Flexible. I saw the so Dally flexible. magic too of him walking through the table to stare you in the face. <laughs> yeah, he did it like, I'm not gonna <laughs> Did that Dryad like, just imagine, vine whip? Like, imagine like I just walk through the- walk through the table over to you to look you in the face. <laughs> Oh. Killing myself tomorrow now. Fuck it up. Why tomorrow? I'm taking the cowards way out. What the? Aren't you supposed to be like a pacifist or some shit? What the hell? That fucker hit me in the nuts with his hammer the other day. I can make a joke, can't I? Oh. I did? Oh, no. Yeah, and then you said, Your children send oh, their regards. Right. I've seen him do this trick. Yeah, on, your future children send you regards. Yep. See, I'm not a pacifist, I'm just peaceful. <laughs> oh, so you're a think of it as, think, think of it as a- I'll do it again, and I have a mace this time. Oh, you're fucking so bright! Holy shit! Oh my god! Ah. Oh my- oh! Fuck! Tang always light up my life. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, I'm a long-term- Hurt person. See, I take it out on your future generations. Like I said, I am a mage from the twelfth dimension. Do you think before you speak or speak before you think? A little bit of both. What? What? I love how you, you think that I'm going to have children. Oh. You know, I was gonna make that joke at him, but thanks for volunteering. People said I steal souls with my eyes. They're very, me, very green. I mean, call me, call look me. inside me, you'll see absolutely call, nothing. Wait, who stole it? The drow don't have souls. Nothing in there. Yeah, just a husk. Drow have drow souls. Mm. Drow husk. <laughs> drow husk. <laughs> He's Drusk. Oh. <laughs> Druska? Sadie? Okay, okay, we did it. Good job. You know, Kyler, we never really talk. Don't we? Man, that bench is really squeaky. <laughs> yeah, Nicholas, you have like WD-40 or something? I don't think we've invented okay. that yet, Mr. Kyler. Ah, uh, we're still on WD-1. <laughs> You guys have WD. We'll find out how to do it. <laughs> I 
second, wait for it to snap. And you just go through the stone how long, wall. How, how long have you had that bench for, Mr. Kyla? It's just really fucking up my spine, actually. I don't want to. I don't want to replace it because, like, I might be moving soon. So I just like, you know, just kind of. Well, just. I, he's Fuck, imitating it with his mouth. Or is it seen? Watch, watch oh, him. Yeah, every yeah, time he, he every it time it, every time the bench creaks, he does it with his mouth. <clears throat> Are you a parrot or something? 